corrosive, toxic, ignitable. This is the kind of stuff you can find lurking in your garage. In fact, this stash is from mine. scary but true. Many of us could find these warnings on labels of items in our garages, basements, and just below where we wash our hands or brush our teeth. We use these chemicals and solvents to help us clean our homes or make them look better or just keep the bugs away. But often they end up piling up in our garage because we don't know how to get rid of them. The official term for these nasties is household hazardous waste. And that got my attention. To solve this problem, many counties and cities have periodic household hazardous waste drop-offs. At these events, people from the jurisdiction get to bring stuff in to be gathered and disposed of properly. These events can cost up to $60,000 and may happen once or twice a year. But what would happen if you found an old jug of muriatic acid and realized you've just missed your annual drop-off? Do you put it back on the shelf and wait another year? Do you quietly look the other way and slip it in the trash? Do you find a drain and pour it down? Imagine what would happen if everyone did that. Bad news. And here to tell us why is Peggy Whitlow Radcliffe of Live Thrive Atlanta. Peggy, what happens if all these nasty toxins are disposed of improperly? They end up in our water system and they come back to us. The water filters that you can buy today that either go in your faucet or in the refrigerator don't take care of all these toxins. We think they do, but they don't. It's important to make sure that those kind of things are going back to events like your organization puts on. They're usually four hour events. And in those four hours, your kids have soccer games or you, you're out of town that week and you don't have the opportunity to actually come to one of the events to dispose of them properly. That's how they end up and you're Herbie Kirby on the, on the street. But you have a solution to that problem. We want to open a charm center, which is Center for Hard to Recycle Materials. And it will not only be for materials that are hazardous, as well we want to reuse. We want to encourage people to reuse things. So the goal of the charm facility is to be open all the time. Hopefully we can be open five to seven days a week. That way, when you're out, it's a one-stop shop. When you have all the kids' things that you need to get rid of, and you have an old mattress, or you have tires, um, or chemicals, you can bring them all to one location, and they can will either be properly disposed of or reused. A lot of those materials that are coming in do have a value in the marketplace that you'll be able to sort of resell to organizations that can use them. So there is a way to actually make money from those and support the facility as well as support our local economy because most of the companies that we want to work with are here in Georgia. Some of the chemicals can be combined to come out with alternative fuels. They're doing studies on those and the actual companies we work with do that. The paint, the latex paint, can be recycled and reused. So there's a lot of things we can do other than putting them on the curb or dumping them. What stands in the way of this facility? Funding. To open our doors, we need $150,000. We have 5.9 million people in the city of Atlanta, and 0.01% of those people came and donated $100. Our doors could open, and they would have a full-time facility to bring whatever they need. I think that the partnership between the city and the other nonprofits in Atlanta, we will be able to make a difference. If you find household hazardous wastes in your home, make sure you dispose of them properly. And if you live in Atlanta, look for the Charm facility to be opening soon. And in fact, you can donate to make sure it becomes a reality. Living the charmed life, that's just another easy way to be green. As always, our challenge to you, put your green on one leg at a time. Stay connected by becoming a fan of our Facebook page and help spread the green by sharing with your friends. Greenshorts.com, that's shorts with a Z.